Hey YouTube, Joe's Guys One here with a new series that is starting every Thursday. And this is a series in which I do game reviews. Now the first five episodes of this series are going to be my five favorite games. Now we're going to start with, I don't want to say the worst, because none of these games I would consider to be bad. But we're going to start with the lowest rated games going to the highest rated games, meaning going from five to one. So anyways, let's do it. So the first game, or I should say the fifth game, is Dead Rising. This is a fantastic game. Um, the whole reason I love this game is because it's a zombie genre, which obviously you guys know um, that I like zombies, considering the videos I do every week. But it's not only that, it's that it's kind of realistic, because you could use you can use pretty much anything like you know if you're in a if you're in a building and you know you see a monitor you can use the computer well that's in the sequels but like you know if you're in a toy shop you can use all the toys as weapons or if you're in a restaurant you can pick up a chair and start beating the zombies so it's very realistic in that aspect it all takes place in a mall so there's lots of different stores which means different weapons and different stuff you can do um, which is what I really like about it. It says right here, since it takes place in the mall, it says, This game was not developed, approved, or licensed by the owners or creators of the George A. Romero movie Dawn of the Dead, since the uh, plots are so similar. Um, but anyways, this game has a lot of cool mechanics. One of the things is you play as a reporter named Frank West, freelance photojournalist, and you take photos with your camera, and that can be used to give you extra experience, known as PP points, or prestige points, um, which helps you level up. The maximum level is 50, and you can get, I think it's 8 or 10 blocks of health. Um, the way you get health back is by eating food or drinking um, drinks. So, you know, if you find, like, orange juice and you drink it, that can restore some health. Or if you find steak, you can eat that. That'll restore your health. Um, and that's also an interesting mechanic as well, because with those, if you find a blender, you can mix items and make certain um, mixed drinks, which can give you certain powers. So, for example, mixing two orange juices gives you nectar, which a queen flies around, which is another weapon in the game. It's just like a queen bee. But if you play it, it all gets explained. I'm not going to explain it right now. Um, you know... Another combination is if you mix two milks and you put them together, it makes quick step, which makes you run extra fast. Another interesting mechanic in this game is the bosses. The bosses aren't, you know, they're not usual bosses. In this game, they're called psychopaths, and they're side, side bosses, too. Um, for example, throughout the game, if you're just doing the main story, you only fight four bosses, um, and some of them are just, like, the same people. But anyways, in the, if you do all the side quests and stuff, they you actually fight, you know, psychopaths, and some of them can give you benefits. So, for example, if you fight Paul, you get the Molotov cocktail weapon, if you save him. If you fight um, the clown, Adam, you get the small chainsaw, which means you can keep it in your inventory. You know... Just all these great things that you can get from fighting bosses. And usually, bosses will have survivors, you know, that they're holding hostage. This is also an important game mechanic because the more survivors you rescue, you get more PP. And you can also get achievements for that, too. Plus, sometimes survivors can be helpful. For example, one survivor can lead you to a secret tunnel, which will take you from the Wonderland Plaza to the Paradise Plaza and you don't have to go all the way around. The achievements in Dead Rising are very easy, and if you're worried about the servers shutting down on Xbox 360 and not being able to get all the achievements, don't worry, because this has no online play. So you can get all the achievements. That's actually what I'm working on right now. Now, this is a very, very fun game. I've been playing it the past few days, trying to get all the achievements in it, and, I mean... I just, I've had so many fun times with this game, you know, when it came out. It's, it's just, it, I have a lot of memories with this. 
and, you know, it's really fun. The manual is lost somewhere, um, which I'm kind of pissed about, because I love having manuals with games. This is one of those, you know, oh, um, game things, like ads for other games or something. This is a survey, and you can win an HD TV. But, anyway. This, great game. I highly recommend you play it. The only problem is that it's only Xbox 360. So sorry, PlayStation fans, but, I mean, it's definitely worth buying an Xbox if only to play this game. So anyways, that concludes the first episode of the next series, and also the next five or four episodes to come. Um, I'll give you a hint on the next episode. It is a PC game, and that's about it. It came out in the early 2000s. Um, trying to think of what else I can give you here. PC game came out in the early 2000s. One of the first games I ever played, but that probably won't help me. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Share this video with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.